All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. Welcome back to free build mode. In the last episode, we built this inside of the Cooler Master Master Box NR200P, uh, the teal and white edition. It's a pretty color, a pretty powerful computer with a 11700K and a RTX 3080 from Zotac. Uh, a bunch of new parts that were added to the game in the most recent update. So that was a lot of fun. It was a fun one to try. We're actually going to do a little bit more building today with some parts that are new uh, in the most recent update, starting with... I think this is new. It's it's kind of unclear because it was never in the change log, but it is one of the last cases in the list after the NR200P. There is the Corsair IQ 220T RGB uh, in white or black, both with a tempered glass side panel. Uh, actually, I've got the white version over here I built in uh, before the update video. Uh, yeah, so we're going to build this, and we're going to do kind of like a powerful desktop, like workstation rendering machine, uh, but in a pretty compact case. We're going to use a variety of parts that are new that came out, uh, were added newly with the update, the most recent update. Uh, it should be fun. So let's get down to it. Motherboard, it's going to be a new one, and it's going to be a new Threadripper board, a new TRX40 board from ASRock. Uh, ASRock's first TRX40 uh, I think maybe at first Thun Threadripper board at all in the game ever. Yes, yes. First Azrock Threadripper in the game ever. I don't know. That, that feels significant. Is that like a really way too specific stat? I don't know. Uh, but there it is, the Azrock TRX40 Tai Chi. They got their like interesting little gear, gear thing. They you know, they, 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 love, they love their gears. They love it. It's like a fine watch that Azrock Tai Chi board. That's a weird. Heat shield. It's actually. Oh, there's the there's the actual uh, fan for the motherboard chipset. Boop beep boop boop beep. This is addicting. Not really. Kind of. Oh wow. Looks like, and I don't think it matters because there's not support for this in the game. But I do think this is a. Um, and, and there's an M.2 slot here you can see facing this one. This looks like a standard M.2 here facing to the right. But to the left is one of those super, super small little M.2s, the baby M.2s. I can't remember what the length is. Like, because these, I think, normal ones are like 2280. So this is, you know, a lot less. 800? I don't know. It's a lot less. Um, that's cool. It doesn't really help us because we don't have storage in the game that fits that. Um, but it's there, which is, which is kind of neat. So... Oh yeah, we got that team group, the T-Force Cardea that they added, uh, PCIe Gen 3, unfortunately, uh, but it's graphene, supposedly. I mean, it's still good, It's but it's very high capacity. So let's throw some of that in here. Uh, like I said, we're gonna do kind of a workhorse rendering build. So we could do some of that. Uh, we could also stick with what is still, I believe, the fastest. Um, Let's see, what are some of the fastest? Well, the Oris copper stuff is really fast. I think it's maybe this one of the fastest, 4,700 megabyte, megabytes per second. Oh, does that one not say NVMe, even though it definitely is? Okay, cool, yep, doesn't, okay. Uh, all right, 3,250, what is the fastest? Oh, 4,600 from the MP600 Gen 4 from Corsair, but the two terabyte is, and the two terabyte and the one terabyte are significantly faster than the 512 gig, which is, Fascinating, okay. Uh, yeah, the Oris Copper Boy, 4,700. The fastest so far. A lot of times I do this Patriot Viper, this PCI agent. Wow, 4,800. Okay, so that is the fastest. And what's cool about it is it fits in like everything. The heat sink is really small, and so it fits everywhere, which is really, really super cool, convenient, great. Uh, so we're gonna cover that. We cannot use that other M.2, it's too, too, too smart, too small. Uh, we'll do this maybe as kind of like a ultra fast uh, rendering drive or something like that. I, you know, I don't know how much how much that extra bit of speed would help you, but it probably wouldn't be insignificant for the right workload. Uh, TRX40 chipset here, so obviously we're going to be going with Threadripper, uh, specifically third gen Threadripper, and uh, tippy top of the tip, 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 tippity top is the 3990X with 64 cores and twice as many threads, 128 threads, if you do the math. <laughs> so let's put that in there. That's gonna cost us a cool $3,990, which is weirdly appropriate, given the model number. Uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll that'll make a pretty powerful computer. I think they're already kind of starting, I think they're starting to talk about uh, the next generation of Threadripper eventually coming, so that, that'll, be, that'll be fun. Uh, let's do some thermal paste, and for this build, we are gonna do custom water cooling. Ooh, actually, I'm saying that and I realize I haven't looked to see where our reservoir is going to mount because that is always 
That's always the catch. I figured it was going to be back here, which is a really sad place to me. I mean, it's fine, but it's just sad. It's just sad when you have to put it back here. Oh, do I do a custom water cooler or, or do we, let me just turn Fetz's PC off really quick. I want to see of our newer AIOs that we got. Uh, a lot of these aren't going to be compatible with Threadripper block. The Inwin BR36 is? Really? We actually have that installed uh, in this computer over here, which is a uh, Ryzen 5600X, so it's fitting an AM4 CPU there, and apparently it's also compatible with Red River, which is kind of surprising. Usually those don't overlap because the dies, like the actual uh, IHS size is so different. It's not even close. Um, yeah, I don't know. If it was me, I wouldn't trust... For a threader CPU, I would not trust something that is made to cool smaller CPUs. You would just that it's not going to have a grid of contact. So, truthfully, something that is made for Threadripper is going to be much, much better. This Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360, oh, a Threadripper edition. Okay, that's new. So that let's try that. Let's try that. Uh, and then to do that, we're going to actually have to uninstall these fans in the front because it's got a 360 rad, and we are going to need the space. So let's get these fans out of here install you let's wrap around to the back that was that felt cool uh we're gonna move this this uh three and a half inch hard drive bay because we're gonna need the space to get a radiator with fans down in there we could get a radiator but now we can get fans uh we've got to have everything mounted on the inside of the case here because we've just got a little bit of panel gap here that's all we've got to bring air in which i don't know how thermal performance is in the 220t uh from corsair but yeah, well hopefully hopefully it's good enough uh we'll see okay let's go down and let's grab that Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 Mirror Threadripper 4 Edition. TR4, TR4, TRX4. Okay, whatever, it's fine. TR4, fine. Edition. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's not bad. That feels like that's not centered on the CPU. I, I can see thermal paste sticking out from underneath that. I'm not, I mean, okay, we're still gonna use it. We're gonna use it, let's be clear. Um, also, th the, the Cooler Master logo is going to be vertical, apparently? It doesn't seem necessary, but I don't like that I can see thermal paste. Like, if you can see thermal paste splooting out underneath your CPU cooler, um, it's probably not a good thing. Like, that is contact surface that is not getting cooled. <sighs> that's fine. I mean, what do I care? This is, this is a fictional computer. What do I care if it, it melts? It's fine. Uh, okay. Boy, I like how the why did that radiator look cool to me. The fins, they look cool. They're like more spaced out. Am I crazy? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I can't believe this is it. Like this is what they did for us. Really, this is the Threadripper setup. This is mounted vertically. Like it's just. I'm not impressed. I can see parts of the words that are engraved on the IHS. I can see them. I can see them right here. I would zoom in more, but I can't because the game won't let me. I think I can see the trademark logo. Trademark logo, symbol, trademark. You know, it's there. Oh, okay. Can I get case fans up here? Or is this hose going to be in the way? Good chance it might be in the way. We might have to do things in different order. Uh, let's do case fans, though. Now, we're not really trying to do too crazy uh, style-wise. I guess we could just go with Cooler Master, Cool Master Sickle Flow 120 mil fans all around, which would match the fans on the AAO. This is, again, a workhorse computer. It's a... It's a, it's a desktop, it's a mach, it's a workstation PC, so it doesn't need to look cool. Um, I think we could do 140s up there, but I don't think there's 240s, uh, or, yep, two four, uh, two, two forties of the sickle master, master, master flow, sickle, sickle, uh, sickle flow. Sickle flow. Weird. Because they're sickles? They look like sickles? Is it a sickle? A popsicle? It's weird. I don't really get why it's called sickle. Okay, we've only got 120s, but we could do that. Ah, of course, it's going to get away. All right, so let's remove quickly this ridiculous looking AIO just for a second to get some case fans in. Then I think we can put the AIO and it should work. Usually that won't clash. Uh, usually? <laughs> sickle. All right, sickle on the search button. Sickle. Uh, it's actually, sorry, let's uh, put thermal paste on. A big old glob of thermal paste that's just going to get spread out and kind of screwed up anyway. Super serious. CPU cooling. All right. We're back. We're not back. Seriously? That's going to clash? Really? Okay. What if we ups? I have an idea. What if we install the radiator the other way around with the pipes down here? That's possible. If you had enough reach, that would be possible. Uh, actually, better for burning air bubbles getting into your loop because here we've got the top of the radiator way above our CPU, which is kind of not great. 
Um, oh, wow. The fact that it's letting me, I didn't even realize, but the fact that it's letting me do this, I wish I could show better. Do you see, um, we're hitting, yeah, we're hitting the, uh, the heat sink here on the top of the motherboard. That's a very big heat sink. It's a very aggressive heat sink. You see that? We're hitting that. See the clashing that's happening there? All right, I guess, I guess we don't get to do a case fan up there. <sighs> I am disappointed. Uh, ooh, I have an idea. There are slim fans. 120 slim fans. How about you? Ooh, oh, let's try this. This could work. I've actually really never had to use these. So it'd be kind of cool if I needed to use them. Okay, thermal paste is still on. Seriously? No. That felt, are you serious? That looks fine. No. It's not the, it really thinks, seriously, I don't, that is not hitting. Look at the gap. Do you see the gap? Do you see it? Uh, can I go the other order? Probably not. This is the worst. I don't know what I want to do. Oh, PC building simulator. You just never cease to frustrate me with your annoying part clashing issues. Like seriously, this game, I tell you, I tell you. All right, just work for me. You are the worst, you're the absolute worst. That is not touching. Just push the, just push the tubing down a little bit. It doesn't need to be that high. <sighs> no fans in the top. I gotta tell you, if this is my computer, with a, with a Threadripper 3990X? Mm-mm, no, no, no way. We are not doing this without top fans. Um, but we might be doing this without top fans. Uh, unless we wanna pick a different AIO, which we could do. We could do it. I guess we could do it. I'm gonna put those slim boys back in. How is the CFM? 42.1. Wow, actually shockingly pretty decent. Maybe? Wow, these A data ones are insane. 75 CFM? Wow. Okay, so maybe not like great CFM, but still, some of these fancy pretty ones aren't actually that good. Okay, whatever, that's what we're gonna do these again. So these again, can I find, oh, yes. Can I find a radiator that's actually gonna make this work? Can we find a radiator that's gonna treat me right? I feel like this should be possible. It definitely should be possible. If this was real life, this would be trivial. Trivial, I tell you. Um, of course, we could do custom water cooling. We could do custom loop. We could do it. We could do it. Uh, let's look at all the Threadripper options we have here. Be quiet. No, you be quiet. Um, mm, Cryo Rig A40 Ultimate. Wow. I mean, I want to find a 360 and just see if I can find one that'll work. Like, I don't know what it's gonna depend on. Man, I feel like that really like looked like a good option. What is in one was so weird. Does it actually have the pump here? I didn't pay attention to that. Interesting. Uh, Z73. Uh, okay. Be quiet, silent loop 360. Uh, this is fun. Corsair IQ H150i RGB Pro XT. <gasps> God, this is the worst. Okay, this game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't hate it, but I can well, kind of, kind of do. Just a little bit. Okay, forget it. We're going to do custom loop water cooling. This has been fun. I hope you guys are all enjoying this. I'm going to keep the slim fans in here because they don't hit the heat sink. And even though the other ones did technically work, it feels bad. It feels bad to me. So we're not going to do that. Let's do custom loop. It's what we want to do from the start, but reservoir placement is... Um, uninspiring to say the least, but we're gonna do it. Corsair XT3 feels kind of appropriate. It's a pretty small reservoir, but it should be it should be fine. We're just doing we're just gonna do the old CPU here. Uh, let's see, radiator and let's do. We don't need RGB, right? This is a workhorse. 130 CFM, 150 CFM. I think CFM does translate pretty directly to like more CFM is better. 150 is gonna kind of be the peak. 150? That feels very low to me. It feels low. And this super thick boy, Ragentech, still has 150 CFM, which, so I mean, it, like, what has the same cooling potential as everything else? 
Maybe. Okay, let's do the Alpha Cool Radiator with the Be Quiet fans. And I really hope I can actually run stuff out of this. CPU block. We did get a new Ryzen, Ryzen Tech, Ryzen Tech block? No, is that true? No, I thought we got a new Threadripper block. Do we not? Okay, no, I think I lied. Do we get new block? Am I making, I'm making this up. Oh, we did, okay. Oh, I thought this was Ryzen, I thought this was a uh, Threadripper. It is not, it is AM4 and a bunch of Intel sockets. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, uh, scratch that. We've got the same old Threadripper blocks we've always had. Um, you know what? I've like barely used the Corsair one since they came out. So let's do one of those. XC9 or XC7? I don't know, nine is a higher number, sounds good. Boom. Hey, at least it's centered. That actually looks like it would cool the CPU well. Well, that's progress. Uh, all right. Uh, what do you got? Wait, 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 wait. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Black rigid. Why not? That sounds fun. Black rigid sounds cool. I'm not trying to throw. You know, I'm not trying to impress anybody. But that's a little Easter egg. Purple fittings. Why not? Now, hope I can get out of here. I know the CPU. Oh, that's not touching. That's not touching. There's like seven corners up in here. How many corners did you add? Okay, no, it, that's not true. It, that's not touching. Yikes. Wow, that is not, I repeat, that is not touching. That is not touching. See that gap? Not touching. It's not gonna let me do it. <sighs> my face, if you could see my face, you would see the face of disappointment. You would see a deflated what? Okay, I'm no longer deflated. I'm just confused. No, 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 I, I lied, don't, 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 don't do that. Why does this work again? Why does this work? I don't know. You know what? Uh, it's definitely not my favorite bend ever. And if I met... So wow, there's actually a bit of... Interesting. I don't get that. Uh, sure, that looks wonderful. It doesn't but can you work? Where's your magic angle? No? No magic angle for you? I, I really need you to, I really need this to work somehow, please. Um, this seems unfair. What is this game doing to me? Do you need to do something weird like this? Oh, come on. You have every reason to work. You have the same reasons to work as the other one. How about like, oh yeah, that's that's not it. Nope. Uh, what if we like take you straight over here? No. No. Oh, well, actually, that's got other has other problems. Uh. No. Seriously. Nothing. Wow, what exactly am I supposed to do with that? Um, here to here to here? Eh? What is this? What is this nonsense? What have you done? You've done to me, game. Man. Oh, we found it! Oh, I don't get this. I swear, I feel like I just did that. I don't, mm, 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 mm. don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, don't, don't understand this game. Okay, that's fine. I don't, that's fine. I don't care. And nothing matters anymore. <laughs> this is the stupidest build. Hey, sorry, everybody. Uh, sorry for wasting your time. Actually, you know what? Blame the game. It wasn't my fault. Hey, I should probably put RAM in this build. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, I uh, probably should put, like, RAM in the computer. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's, 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 uh, let's put memory in this. Let's put memory in, wow, jeepers. Uh, we got this team group new Dark Pro in black, which is kind of cool. Is that RGB? No, not RGB, cool. T-Force Zeus, which I don't know, it's, a, it's something, it looks some, It looks like something. Did we get new generic RAM? No, I think it's just like moved around. Okay, we could try some of this team group dark it doesn't get that fast 3466 is that going to be the peak looks like it 
Eight gigs. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, goody. Goody, 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 goody. Well, we know it's possible. So, you know, I'm sure we'll, we'll, just, we'll figure it out. Oh, did I? What? I felt like I opened these. Did I not? Okay, whatever. I think it's fine. Uh, all right, we gotta remove this. It's fine, it's fine. I'm sure I can do it again. Just should probably like put in RAM ahead of the, the water cooling next time. Hope I don't do a RAM change. Hope we don't have a bad dim. Okay, let's go back to where we were. It seems to help if I go here to here. Uh, oh, that's because we got weird amounts of bends again. What? What? Hello, friend. Why don't you... There you go. There's that magic angle that I don't get. Wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, that's that seems fine. That seems fine. Okay, cool. We're, I, I think we are going to finish this computer. Uh, potentially. I know there have been some... Some... Some, um, some issues. Been derailed a few times. But there's, there it is, it's an actual cooling loop. Okay, we still have a power supply on the computer, so things are not going amazing. Uh, let's go 1600, that's not a power supply that exists. 1500 from Silverstone. Dang, I don't know if that's necessary, but that is 16, 15, 1600 doesn't exist, is that right? So 1500 is the biggest? There's a bunch of 1400s then, uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so confused. What, what, uh, EVG? I mean, Nate, come on. We have like a bunch of these. What, it was 1050? Wait, what is going on? Oh, they don't fit in the case because they're huge. Ha ha. Yeah, that's what it is. They don't fit in the case. 1600, right? Am I crazy? 1600. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But they don't fit. Okay. Makes sense. So 1500 Silverstone is as big as I can do. That's all right. I mean, we could have done worse. Did, did I not time? We're good. Okay, cool. Now we're good. Fully modular Silverstone. Well, thank goodness. That is the smallest, like, high wattage power supply. Oh, we've got a fan up in the back. Nice. I don't think we're using it. Or, well, no. Is that all connected? Hopefully. Okay, so that's everything. Pump is, pump res is good. Okay, we need graphics cards. Let's get graphics cards. Graphics cards, don't worry, I've at least looked at this part so I know if it works. The good news is it does. What are we gonna go with? We're gonna go with the Radeon RX 6900 XT, the standard one, because it actually fits. It's actually not a very uh, wide case, so it doesn't. It really can't accommodate like super long graphics cards, but I thought we haven't used AMD in a while, and for a work workhorse build, uh, we'll go all AMD workhorse, workhorse PC here. I wish that they were a little darker. The the lighter silver's kind of thrown off my look, but uh, you know, who 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 cares, right? Who cares? Uh, coolant. Let's do coolant. And you know what? Continuing with our little 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 flash of purple. Let's do a little purple in here. Now the the the, the actual uh, piping is black, so it's fairly subtle in the end. But I kind of I don't know. I just feel like purple. Why not? Nobody's gonna know. While that's filling, let's put some of the case back together. We've got a, no, not a front panel. I'm gonna do the front dust filter for our intaking radiator. Nice, we've got this glass panel here. Not a huge panel gap, uh, so hopefully enough to, to, to keep it cool. Dust filter up top, not super necessary because those are gonna be exhausting, so we wouldn't anticipate a ton of dust coming in through there anyway. So honestly, in real life, I don't really know if I'd put that in there, but we're gonna put it in there because we are. And that's it, another side panel. So let's power it on. Uh, color's a little clashy, but it's a computer. And I think it's gonna work. So I'm gonna get some stuff set up. We'll check temps, we'll check performance, and we'll be right back. All right, so I ran 3D Mark, got a 19,981. That's a 23,197 on the graphics cards. The two 6900 XTs from AMD, and a 11,190 on our 3990X. Now, the 3990X is not necessarily, like, it's not like a gaming CPU. It's not particularly good at CPU score. It used to be when third gen Threadripper was the best CPU, it was the 3960X that did it. Right? 3960, is that right? 3960, 3970, 3990? 
other, right? I don't know, it was the lowest tier 30, uh, it was the lowest tier third gen threader per CPU that could get the best overclock. So it had the most overclocking head headroom. So um, it's not necessarily like an amazing CPU for this, but there you go. That's uh, some numbers for, for those who like the numbers. Um, as far as temperatures, Things are actually looking pretty good here. So 72C, almost 73C on the CPU, um, standard no overclock or anything. And then the graphics cards both maxing out 70 degrees C. Uh, pulling 910 watts. So we've got a decent amount of headroom on our 1500 watt power supply. I was kind of curious if I went into GPU tuner unleash and just maxed out our core voltage. And then we could bump our core clock a little bit on our graphics cards. I don't really know how much these have to give. There we go, and up to 930. Look, guys, we overclocked our computer. Is everyone, everyone happy? Does these? I don't really. I'm actually really not familiar with how much these graphics cards have to give. 100, 100 feels like a nice number. We're climbing. We're climbing in power. Look at us. 82 degrees C. How much more can we do? This is fun. I'm having some. Look at. Look, we're, we're doing it. Mom, I'm overclocking. Look at me. 140. I don't know why 140. That feels like a nice number too. Oh. Uh, are we getting? I, I have to. I mean, we have to run. I guess three mark to see how much we're getting out of this overclock. But can they take 200 megahertz? Am I am I asking for a blue screen here? I, I think OCCT pegs them in the same way, but I actually don't super know. Uh, that feels warm. Wattage climbing. Can we hit 1200? No, 11, 000, uh, 1152 watts. Um, I'm gonna run 3D Mark one more time and just see how we did. Actually, how much memory? Let's throw let's some memory on this. Oh wow, this is not a very, okay. Uh, 50 megahertz. Oh, it hurts. Oh no, don't do that. Okay, that was too much. We, we, we did too much. I had too much fun. Uh, CT, infinite, go. I'm making this like a really long video apparently because just I'm just having too much fun. 30? Huh? Ah, nice. Cool. Um, mm, never mind. Not cool. Okay, memory memory overclock is not going well. 20 megahertz on the memory. That feels safe, right? Oh, 10? 10? 10? You safe? Wow, memory got unstable. Ooh, okay. Okay, it's it's that's. Has something else broken here? I mean, is this really just because of the memory overclock? This feels... I was... Everything was fine. Life was good. 200 megahertz in the core. Everything was fine. Has... Is it not fine? Is the memory just really... Like, memory overclock just really unstable on the, the graphics card here? Are we good? We're good? Five? You want me to put five? Okay, so we figured out, uh, I, I took away the memory overclock because things were just too scary. I think it was a combination of the memory and the core clock. I don't know, you could probably get a little bit more out of it or you could do it differently and probably do it way better, I don't know. Um, but hey, we ran uh, 3D Mark again, got a 27,701 on the graphics this time. So that is an improvement from 23,197 to 27,701. So an improvement of about a little over 4,500 points, about 19%. 19% improvement, and I, I I don't know. I mean, I didn't really even do that much. So there you go. That's kind of fun. We overclocked that. I don't do a lot of overclocking, but it was, it was actually fun to do it. Temps are right there. They are quite warm. Temp on the top graphics card higher than the lower, um, which makes sense. Heat rises, and so that top one will get hotter. It's actually cool. That, I feel like I don't really remember that happening, but that's kind of awesome, actually. Uh, and we're pulling 1,152 watts. So not too bad. There you go, that is building and overclocking a, a pretty compact workhorse PC using the Threadripper 3990X and two of the RX 6900 XT, all from AMD, and that's built in the potentially new uh, IQ 220T RGB case from Corsair. Uh, that was a lot of fun, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, you wanna see more videos of Peace Building Simulator, uh, free build, we're doing some IT expansion, any of that. Be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See ya.